Should we talk Cameron McGeehan first of all? Just he's obviously signed until the end of the season, but presumably he's then the deal is done for the following season as well. I think that's still being spoken about. You know, for me, the first things first is here to the end, here to the end of the season. Um, um, you know, I, I don't think that there's anybody in or around the football club that's on the pitch or off it that's not glad to to, to see that happen. Um, and as I say, you know, the talks are sort of going on really as we talk that, that it can become more than that. But at the moment, you know, we know it's here till the end of the season. So, yeah, we're really pleased with that. Yeah. At this stage of the season, fourth in the table, not far off the top. It's a it's a signing of intent, isn't it? I mean, it's a great one. No, it is. I, I think that from from day one when I, when I came, you know, it was always my intention to gradually. You can't do it all in one go but to try and identify young, talented players that can help be the future of the club. And, you know, we've had Michael in, Michael Harriman in this season that, you know, we're talking to QPR about. We brought Luke Wilkinson in, we brought Paddy Raddock in, uh, we brought Mark Cullen in. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to, to do something with regard to Cameron. So, you know, we're making really, really good progress in doing that without it affecting the team, if you like, because sometimes you can have younger players and it just has an effect on the team in terms of experience and knowledge. But, you know, fortunately that's that's not the case. But, you know, that's where I want to get to, gradually get to that, where we have, you know, a group of young, talented, hungry, ambitious players uh, that want to play for Luton. And, uh, you know... I'm quite proud of that, you know, the steps that we've made on, on, on that I am.